Signs of the pandemic easing up, you might be wondering how the St. Louis region's economy is recovering. Well, according to one prominent research group, St. Louis is lagging when it comes to peer cities. So News 4 is asking, well, what's the plan to fix it? News 4 investigator Chris Nagus discovers there are some signs of hope. From the new soccer stadium in downtown West to this soaring apartment tower in the central West End, there are signs of vibrancy around St. Louis. But according to Brookings, a research group that ranks metros by overall growth, things don't look so hot. We rank 44th out of 53 for metros over a million. Why does St. Louis as a large metro seem to lag? That's the question I posed for Bruce Katz, a metro growth expert with New Localism Associates. Compared to other U.S. metros, you are highly decentralized. You have a very weak core. If this city is not strong, the metro will not grow. Jason Hall is the CEO of Greater St. Louis, Inc. His organization recently tapped CATS to create a new vision, the 2030 Jobs Plan. It's 91 pages of detailed analysis about our home. Page one is clear, St. Louis must win this decade. Our metro hadn't even had a jobs plan for over a decade. So think if you're a business looking at this market and say, they're not even laying out for the world where they're going. You know, they'll move on to the next market. You gotta make this easy for decision makers. Before we look at the plan, let's examine the obvious. If St. Louis is going to grow, we need more people to move here. Just to our west, Kansas City doesn't rank much better. Number 36 in overall growth. We asked, would you consider moving east to St. Louis? Man, I don't know. I. That's a tough one because I really love my job right now. Uh, we don't have an office in St. Louis. If we had an office in St. Louis, maybe. Yeah, if it was the right opportunity, sure. Keyword opportunity. And there are some key takeaways in the newly proposed 2030 jobs plan. And 10 years out, St. Louis could be a very different place. Kat says growing cities are inclusive cities. The report reveals a hard truth. We need to confront the painful legacy and present day realities of systemic racism. And this shocking number, if black St. Louis residents started and owned businesses at the same rate as white St. Louisans, the Metro would have more than 8,000 additional businesses and 66,000 additional jobs. Katz does add he's seen signs of progress on that front. I think there's a commitment to growing black and Latino business and having a much more diverse hiring that's as strong, if not stronger, than any other place I've seen in the United States. Economic development is not one in days and weeks. It's one in years and decades. Back at Greater St. Louis, Inc., Hall says his team is getting aggressive. Is the phone ringing? It is. So people forget this region had really gotten out of the business recruitment business. We didn't have a team out there fighting for jobs every day. He says the recent announcement of 1,400 high-tech, high-paying jobs at Accenture Federal Services was a big win. He says others are in the pipeline. We have a few that are very, very close. A major biotech out of San Francisco, major manufacturing firm that's looking down on our riverfront. Paul says his group acts as a concierge to make it easy for businesses to navigate St. Louis. Locally, we know our region is fragmented. That's not a secret. And we've seen headlines about downtown businesses leaving for the burbs. Those that understand economic growth say downtown must be strong or our region simply won't grow. Most successful metropolitan areas in the United States over the last 25 years built up their greater downtowns and midtowns because those are the, the places where companies, universities, startups, scale ups, investors, workers come together. That didn't really happen in St. Louis. It's a very dispersed economy, a lot of assets, but they're not adding up together. It's like two plus two equal three. So how do we make it equal four? Kat says St. Louis needs to focus on its assets, financial tech, ag tech, biosciences, and geospatial, just to name a few. Now, I asked for Mayor Tashara Jones' opinion on this issue. A spokesperson said, in part, the mayor has seen the plan. She believes that we have been lagging because disinvestment in certain communities has been intentional, just like much of the investment in the Central Corridor. Mayor Jones believes the city should be a better negotiator when it comes to development incentives. Chris Nagus, News 4 Investigates.